takes a while, but... Jeez. Okay. What's up guys? Good morning. Hope you guys are doing good. We got an early start today. Um, so as you guys probably saw from the title of the video, the K24 Civic is finally, finally alive. I haven't heard that in person yet, so we're gonna go check that out together. Uh, but I'm so excited. This has been a long time coming and just to hear it finally turn on, that's, that's gonna be crazy. So yeah, I'll see you guys over there. So guys, back with the Civic and my boy's shop. So yeah, there's a lot to get into. The car runs, I'll show you guys that in a bit. Yeah, so this is my original harness that was in there. As you guys can see, it's all spliced up and just terrible. This is from when the uh, the mice got in there and just chewed up all the wires. So you can see all the splices that we made. So yeah, there is something going on somewhere. This is shorting out. So I'm, I'm going to be getting a brand new harness. So that's for the fuel pump and then it goes around there. And then the new harness over here is already installed. But yeah, I guess I was having a short somewhere, but that's sorted out. And also, I thought me and Leela had put a base map on the um, Honda ECU, but I guess there was no base map at all, so that was another issue. So it was just multiple little things that was not making it start, but yeah, everything's good now. So yeah, so now my boy just needs to go in there and just fix everything up and just make it look better. So I should swap out the harness back here. It's nice that it's all just gonna be a complete harness. All right, guys, so now it's time. We're gonna fire up. It's been a long time coming. I know you guys wanna see this just as much as I wanna see this. I'm so hyped. It's, it's gonna be the first time it's turned on. Well, not the first time, but the first time on camera that's turning on for you guys since like 2018. So yeah, let's get it. So it takes a while, but... breakdown what happened yeah what happened hey man you're a fucking lifesaver though thank you man appreciate it <laughs> uh a lot of shit went down it wasn't something it wasn't something simple <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so um for one um you had a lot of uh cutting splice on your harnesses on your harness your main chassis harness so yeah. right here it was all uh cutting splice and here as well you had like two of them one right here and one right here <laughs> So pretty much what I was, ha I was having is just no, no uh, ignition, no signal to the ECU. Mm -hmm. And I was having 10 volts into the grounds. So you probably like spliced something wrong, which you had probably like put a, a, a 12 volt source into a ground. And that's what I was having. Okay, yeah. So yeah, as you guys saw, my original horn is all hacked up, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you had a K20 um, aftermarket crank sensor. Okay. So yeah. usually with aftermarket crank sensors uh, for Hondas, it's like a no-go. Either it's Denso or Honda. And so what I did is I just dip in them, put the original K24 on it, and put it back together, and it started up. But also <laughs> I was having a lot of fuses that were blown. So oh. it, was just, it was just back and forth things. And, you got it yeah. running. Yeah, it's a lot of time consuming yeah. things. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like it. That's why I left it up to you. I just <laughs> did not, yeah, I probably, probably never figured it out, man. So, mm -hmm. shout out to you. Yeah. And this is a new harness too, cause like, I mean, well not a new harness, it's a used harness, but like, I mean, everything from, everything's chewed up yeah. and cut and, so one of my homies hooked me up with a, a EM1 harness. So everything's from an EM1, so we're gonna awesome. put it back together and, all the day also doing your uh your brake lines oh yeah the car ready to go so you could just be gapping <laughs> yeah so my boy's gonna make it look all nice in here get all the wiring situated and good to go for me so yes sir so by what you said by sometime next week yeah sometime next week sheesh should be home soon guys almost there almost almost just a little stuff here and there and that but she turns on yeah, it turns 
All right, guys, I've been cleaning up the windshield just so my boy can see out of it so I can put it inside the shop. But yeah, I just hella overspray on it. So like I said, I do plan on replacing it. Uh, that's why we kind of just didn't give a fuck about it. Got some cracks on it. So I need replacing it anyways, but might as well make it look clean and it'll make the car look nicer, honestly. So almost done. What's up guys, so we're back at the crib. Just got back from looking at the Civic. So yeah, as you guys saw, it turns on. I'm so hyped about it. It's been years since I've heard that thing turn on. Uh, so yeah, my boy's gonna get everything cleaned up and looking right. He's basically gonna give me a car I can drive off with, but I'm not gonna do that. I still needs registration and an exhaust. As you guys heard, it's, it's super loud. So yeah, I'm super, super excited guys. If you guys are too, make sure you drop a thumbs up for this video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. It's, it's about to get lit. Um, I'm definitely definitely trying to hit 100k this year so especially with the civic running now i'm gonna have content coming all the time like two three uploads a week consistently so i'm super excited for that too because i'll be able to do anything to the civic whenever you know so super excited guys big things coming for the channel um so yeah hope you guys stick around hella content coming it's gonna be lit guys so yeah hope you guys enjoyed i know it's a quick video but the other video, I mean, the Civic's about to be home soon, so I'm gonna be driving this soon, guys. So, yeah, I just wanna give you guys a quick update, show you guys that it turns on. Yeah, so with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.